Hello there, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Gabe, and today we are going to be doing some math. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. Uh, I will be doing some math. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit of math to show you which products you might want to buy. So with each new set of Pokemon cards, there are obviously different products that you can get within each set. So for the Champion's Path, you could get certain items. For the Shining Fate, you could get items. And then the Battle Styles as well. And soon to come, the Chilling Rain will have their own set of product line. I'm going to be reviewing the Shining Fates expansion here, which was released on February 19th, 2021. Today it is May 4th, may the 4th be with you, uh, but today is May 4th and I'm going to be looking back because you can still get these items, these products are still widely available in stores when you can find them, but if you can find them I wanted to tell you which ones maybe give you the most bang for your buck. So what I did is I created a spreadsheet, I looked up all of the products that you can get such as ETBs, the trays, etc. And then I uh, listed out the items that you get within them, priced them out, and so now I want to show you that information. It's kind of cool. I like spreadsheets, and I like to know the value of my product. Now, obviously, money isn't everything, and there's a reason that I don't include the dollar amounts when I open up my packages and I, and I do these card openings. I don't think that that is really necessary to get the enjoyment out of the card, but if you do, you know, more power to you. That's just not the way that I do it. Now, there is a, uh, a person on YouTube, uh, he has a channel called the Tolarian Community College. He does a lot of really, really good reviews of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, he calls himself the professor, and I really liked one thing that he said, and I'm gonna, you know, kind of, um, I'm gonna quote it, but I'm going to, you know, just do a summary because I don't remember the exact quote and couldn't find the video. But what he says is, the reason why we can um, we can and we should take the uh, dollar amount for each item is to show the worth of a product that the community gives it. So if you know you buy something for twenty dollars and the value of those cards in there or the value of that product is only ten dollars with the community, that means that you may not be getting the best bang for your buck and you may want to not purchase the full set and you may want to actually purchase the cards or items individually. That being said, if you buy a $20 item and it is valued at $40 by the community with all the cards and items that you get in there, that means that it has really good value and you want to potentially purchase the actual pack. So that's how uh, I've been looking at this. Obviously, like I said, it's, it's not about you know, flipping these. It's not about, you know, buying and then selling high. It's about enjoyment. But if you are looking for a specific card, because certain cards in here do have, uh, or certain products in here do have specific cards like the Crobat V or the uh, ETB with the shiny EV, perhaps you want to get that full product instead or vice versa. So I wanted to, you know, just let you know how this is. So I've broken this uh, up into five different sections. So there are five different categories. There is the ETB, there are the tins, there are the mini tins, there are the pin sets, and there are the oversized card sets. So I'm going to go down each category, list the products in that category, and then give you a uh, all the items that are in there and the price per item, as well as the totals, just so that you can see what, what the product is worth. That being said, I got my information from tcgplayer.com, which is a great resource if you want to get singles or sell your cards, or if you just want to see the price of your collection. That's kind of a cool way to track that. I also got some prices from potownstore.com. Both of those I will link below. So the ETB, which stands for Elite Trainer Box, comes in at $49.99 MSRP, manufacturer standard retail price. In this, you get 10 Shining Fates card booster packs. You get one card that is an EV VMAX. You get 65 EV card sleeves. You get four EV dividers, 45 energy cards, six damage counter dice, one coin flip die, 
two condition markers, a box, and a code card. Now the booster packs go for $4.19. This is what they go for at Target, Walmart, your big box stores, and that's the MSRP. So that is what I'm going to be including for the rest of this video. $4.19 per pack. The EV VMAX card is currently going for $3.02. The 65 EV card sleeves go for $4.44. The four EV dividers go for 10 cents. The 45 energy cards are $3.63. Six damage counter dice go for a dollar. The coin flip die goes for 49 cents. The two condition markers go for 10 cents. The box goes for about a dollar and the code card can be sold for about 25 cents. So if you add everything up, taking into account that you get 10 of those booster packs for $4.19, making it $41.90, you're going to get a grand total of $55.95. So this ETB is $49.99 MSRP, but it is worth $55.95 according to the community. So that's pretty cool. You get about an extra five, or you get about $6 extra if you were to buy everything and then resell it individually. Now, again, just because that is what I have listed here doesn't mean that is what you will get. Oftentimes, as somebody who buys and sells a lot of stuff, particularly Amiibos, um, you're, you're going to not necessarily get that, depending on if you sell on eBay or Mercari or somewhere you won't always get the full amount because you have to think about service charges and whatever. So I'm not saying that you should go out and buy this ETB and flip it for the, you know, individually flip it for the $55, $56. That's going to be a horrible investment for many reasons, but also it takes kind of the fun out of it. But it's just not worth it overall. So that was the ETB. There's only one thing, one product in that category, but the next one has three in it. And that category are the tins, is the tins. The three products under the category of tins are the Eldegoss V tin, the Boltund V tin, and the Cramorant V tin. These tins each are marketed at $29.99. If we take a look at each one, we can see that each tin comes with one shiny V card six Shining Fates booster packs, a code card, and the tin itself. Now I'm gonna break down each one so that you can see that there are price differences between the three. So if we look at the Eldegoss V tin, the shiny Eldegoss V card is currently going for $2.12. The six Shining Fates booster packs are $4.19. The code card is currently worth 29 cents and the tin is worth approximately a dollar. If we add all of those up, you get $28.55. The next one is the Boltund V tin, which includes the shiny Boltund V card, which is currently going for $2.41. The six Shining Fates booster packs, which are $4.19 each. Code card is actually worth 99 cents for this one. And the tin is again a dollar. This all makes it worth $29.54. For the next one, the Shiny Cramorant V, you get the Shiny Cramorant V card, which is worth $1.82. The six Shining Fates booster packs, which are $4.19 each. The code card, only worth $0.69 cents this time. And the tin, which is worth a dollar. This together makes this one worth $28.65. So we can see, going from low to high here, the Shiny Eldegoss V tin is actually worth $28.55. The shiny Cramorant V10 is worth $28.65, and the shiny Boltund V10 is worth $29.54 as per the community, and as per you were to sell these individually. So again, as these are worth $29.99 MSRP, these might fall just a little below that actual asking price. The next category are the mini tins, and these ones are actually all the exact same, basically. A lot of this information was kind of difficult to find, um, just because, and, and I kind of had to go off other things. So this one isn't set in stone, I will say that, um, but this is what I would approximate the worth to be. So for these mini tins, you can get five different ones. You can get a Celebi, a Kyogre, a Manaphy, a Reshiram, 
and a Zarud. So within each mini tin, you are going to be getting two Shining Fates booster packs, which are worth $4.19 each. You are going to be getting one metallic coin, which features the character on the front, whether that is the Celebi, Kyogre, Manaphy, Reshiram, or Zarud. You're going to get one art card featuring that character on the front, and you're also going to get the mini tin itself. Now, these three things were not exactly available to find, so I kind of just did my best, as I said, to approximate the value. The metallic coin I valued at 49 cents, the art card, each one I valued at 49 cents, and the mini tin was about 50 cents. Now these are both from local game shops that I've seen, as well as a few eBay listings and Mercari and other stuff. They don't have this, uh, these products on TCG Player or Potown store to, um, or really any that I saw, any website that I saw, so that you can price them out for individual items. So if you add all of them up, you get $9.86 for each of them, which is above the $8.99 MSRP price. So that is pretty good. Uh, as far as value goes. Now what is interesting about these is that the art cards are not playable. These are just strictly cards that have the artwork on them. If you look at the front of the tin, that is the artwork that you will be getting as far as the card goes. And if you collect all five, you can create a full picture. That's pretty cool. Some people like it, but it actually has no real use in the Pokemon trading card game itself. The next thing we're going to be talking about are the pin sets, and I absolutely love the pin sets. I think these are so much fun. I've got all of my pins right here. I have not... Oop, pardon that. I have not uh, had a chance to put them up yet, but I was thinking about that today, actually, how I need to get them up. That being said, these are worth $14.99 MSRP, and within each pin set, you are going to be getting one enamel pin, you're going to be getting one holographic card, three Shining Fates booster packs, and a code card. So if we look at each one individually, because they are priced slightly different, for the Dedeni pin set, the pin is going to be worth $3.00. The Hollow Dedeni card is going to be worth $1.29. You also get three Shining Fates booster packs, which are going to be $4.19 each. And the code card for this pin set is $0.49. Cents. If you add all of these up, you get $17.35. Let's move on to the Bunnel Bee, and you can see that the enamel pin for the Bunnel Bee is also worth $3.00. You get the holographic Bunnelby Mad Party card, which is worth 97 cents. Three Shining Fates booster packs worth $4.19 each, and the code card at 49 cents. Together added up, these are $17.03. For the Poltegeist, you get the one enamel pin worth $3. You get a hollow Poltegeist Mad Party card, which is worth $1.19. You get three Shining Fates booster packs worth $4.19 each, and the code card, which is worth $0.49. Cents. Added up together, these are $17.25. And then finally, the Galarian Mr. Rhyme. You get the Galarian Mr. Rhyme enamel pin worth $3. You get the holographic Galarian Mr. Rhyme Mad Party card, which is worth $1.67. You get three Shining Fates booster packs worth $4.19 each, and a code card worth $0.49. Cents. If you take all of these and add them up, it equals $17.73. So as these are MSRP'd at... MSRP'd? As these are MSRP'd at... $14.99, these are actually a great deal. Not only do you get a little pin, but you also get the cards and a guaranteed Mad Party card, which at this point is a pretty good deck to play. All right, and finally, our last category is the oversized card sets. Now there are three products in here, and I'm gonna break these down into like two subcategories because they're worth different amounts. 
So I'm gonna go with the Pikachu V card set first. This one is worth $19.99 MSRP, and within it you get one holographic Pikachu V card. This is worth $1.10. You also get one holographic oversized card of Pikachu V, which is currently valued at $2.18. Four Shining Fates booster packs at $4.19, and a code card, which is currently worth $0.59. Cents. If you add all these up together, you get a value of $20.63. So this one is actually very close to the actual MSRP price. The next two are more expensive, which is why I group them separately from the Pikachu V box. These are the Dragapult V Max and the Shiny Crobat V Max boxes. These are going to be marketed at $39.99. Within the Dragapult VMAX box, you can be looking to get one holographic shiny Dragapult V, currently valued at $4.02, one holographic shiny Dragapult VMAX card, which is worth $4.82. You get one oversized card of the shiny Dragapult VMAX, which is currently going for $3.58. You get one metallic coin of Dragapult, which I have priced at $0.49. Cents. Seven Shining Fates booster packs at $4.19 each, and a code card which is currently going on Potown Store for $6.99. Whether that is the actual value of that card, I don't know, but that is the best I can give you. So plus or minus, you know, maybe $5 here. That being said, if you look at the total for the Dragapult VMAX set, you are looking at a total of $49.23, which is currently the best price for the, uh, from the community uh, as opposed to the MSRP. Now let's go to the Crobat VMAX set and see what that one is worth. We get one holographic shiny Crobat V card, which is currently valued at $6.28. You get a holographic shiny Crobat VMAX card, which is currently going for $3.23. One oversized card of the shiny Crobat VMAX, which is $2.72. The metallic coin of Crobat, which I valued at $0.49. Cents. Seven Shining Fates booster packs, currently going for $4.19. And the code card, which is currently going for $9.99 on Potown Store. Together, these all equal $52.04, which is the best of the best of all of these that we have seen so far. The community really values the cards in this set, specifically the individual cards that you're going to be getting, as they are used in a lot of decks. So, that's why they're very expensive. That being said, each one is about $10 to $12.00 over the MSRP. So these are definitely your best buy if you're going to be get, if you can find them, these are going to be the ones that are going to give you the most bang for your buck. All right, to conclude and just give any final opinions, I would say that if you can find the shiny Crobat V or the shiny Dragapult V boxes, definitely go ahead and pick those up. That is going to be the best bang for your buck. As far as the other things go, I love the pin sets. As you know, I'm just a sucker for them. I think they look so good, the enamel pins. And as far as bang for your buck, it's actually pretty decent. Unfortunately, the tins, the shiny Eldegoss V tin, the shiny Boltund V, and the shiny Cramorant V fall a little below the MSRP. So it's not necessarily worth it unless you really want those cards and the tin. You can buy the cards for a little cheaper if you don't want to spend the $30 on the tin. Now you can also think about the mini tins, which are a similar value as the MSRP, because you get those two uh, booster packs in them, but you also need to be careful because you need to remember that the art card isn't playable uh, in the, the trading card game itself. So if you want to have the art card, you want to display that or have that for your collection, definitely that might be a really cool thing for you to have. Um, it also might be cool if you want to have the tin to store your cards in. But, like I said, you, you're not going to be able to play that, um, play that card within the trading card game. And then finally you have the ETB, which... I think is really good for uh, newer players or if you just want to get a bunch of cards uh, right from the get-go in that series. Say the series just uh, gets launched um, and, you know, Shining Fates just got launched. 
pick up an ETB, you're gonna get 10 packs of the Shining Fates booster packs in there, and you're gonna be set for a lot of cards. You know, that's that's a hundred cards that you're gonna be getting. So you're gonna have a good collection of the cards within the Shining Fates series. It's also really good for newer players because you get those 45 energy cards, you get the dice, you get the condition markers, you get everything that you need to actually play the game. So I think that has good value there. Overall, it obviously depends on what you're looking for, but I hope that this video helped you at least make a more informed decision, and, uh, you know, I thought, I, I thought it was cool. I hope you did as well. I think that's it for me today, though. I'm looking forward to the next videos, and I'm hoping to do this again with the Battle Styles and Chilling Rain and any future series that comes into play. Take care of yourselves, have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.